When looking at the general consensus on the classic Doctors, particularly the 80s incarnations, I definitely get the sense that the general perspective on them is often mostly based on a handful of out of context clips you'll find on YouTube or their first episode. And in the case of the fifth Doctor, just going off Castro Valva, I can absolutely see why people consider him to be the nice one. It's absolutely splendid. However, when we get to Fort to Doomsday. Now listen to me, you young idiot. You're not so much gullible as idealistic. In general, I wouldn't really describe the Fifth Doctor as all that nice or kind. Tetchy is probably the word that comes to mind when I think of him. Which is probably a result of him not really being able to get on with his companions, since most of them were kind of forced upon him, and he had just had to sort of deal with them. With that being said, it does open him up to a really interesting character arc. It's less that he is the kind-hearted pacifist doctor who can go into a situation without a drop of blood being spilt, I'd say that's more the person the Fifth Doctor wants to be, but unfortunately he's out of his depth in most situations, and him being forced to take violent acts in order to stop things getting worse. There should have been another way. With all the constant massacres that occur in Season 21, the fact that with the exception of Turlo, all of his TV companions leave him under tragic circumstances, all that build up to him eventually breaking is really fascinating. The problem is, that payoff comes after he leaves, so outside of a few diamonds in the rough, like Kiv Zandrazani and Earthshock, for the most part, he is a bit bland. When put next to the likes of Tom Baker and Colin Baker, he does sort of disappear into the background. There is definitely much more to the Fifth Doctor, which would have been interesting to see had he stayed on for longer. But thankfully, he was able to go out on a high note with a really great story.